upward movement of water and minerals in the plant or ascent of xylem cell. Three principles are used to explain the water and solute movement through the xylem. They are water potential gradient from soil solution to atmosphere through the plant. Second one, high adhesive and cohesive forces of water in the xylem. Third one, transpiration pull. What is mean by ascent of xylem set? That is the transportation of water and minerals which enter into the xylem of the plant to upper part of the plant. So that is the ascent of xylem set. Xylem set contain water and dissolved ions and they are transported by bulk flow that is faster than the diffusion. Cohesion tension hypothesis is used to explain this ascent of xylem set. During daytime, due to temperature, uh, water evaporates from mesophyll cells and they lost through transpiration. Then water amount of mesophyll cells decreases, so water potential of mesophyll cells decrease. Thereby, water move from the petiole cells to the mesophyll cells according to water potential gradient. When water move from petiole cells into mesophyll cells, then it reduce the water amount of petiole cells, so it will reduce the water potential of cells in petiole. This will pull the water in the xylem to upward direction due to this transpiration, so that is mean by, that is the transpiration pull. Transpiration provides a pull for the upward movement of xylem sap and also attraction between water molecules it mean cohesion. This cohesion ability of water molecules will transmit this transpiration pull along the entire length of the xylem from shoot to root. Due to the pulling force by transpiration, the water column within the xylem is under tension it means water column will be pulled not pushed so water column is said it is under negative pressure this negative pressure potential help to move the water in upward direction within the xylem and also this water movement is happen according to water potential gradient Adhesion and cohesion forces of water facilitate the transport of water within the xylem by bulk flow method. Adhesion means attraction of water molecules with different molecules and cohesion means attraction between water molecules. Due to high adhesion forces of water molecules, they attract to the cellulose molecules within the xylem wall. Water has high cohesion forces because of the hydrogen bonds between water molecules. Due to this addition and cohesion forces, a continuous water column is formed within the xylem tubes and in the tracheids. This is very important because the transpiration pull can extend down to roots only through an unbroken chain of water. So, presence of high adhesive and cohesive forces of water is very important for the formation of this unbroken water column within the xylem. Even we said that water potential gradient, according to this water potential gradient, xylem sap is more. We can say that the xylem sap is moved according to pressure gradient because that done by bulk flow. For the bulk flow, materials can be moved from high pressure to low pressure. So this xylem sap is also uh, driven by pressure gradient. The tension of the xylem sap is transmit from leaves not only to the root tips but also to the soil solution. There is an water potential gradient from soil solution to atmosphere through the plant. It means highest water potential is happen in the 
soil solution and lowest water potential is occur in the atmosphere so this water potential gradient is important for the upward movement of xylem sap it means against the gravity this is the general pathway that water have to move from soil solution to atmosphere from soil solution water into enter into the epidermis of fruit then cortex then they move into endodermis then enter into the xylem of fruit then they enter into the xylem of shoot then mesophyll cells finally they move to the atmosphere by transpiration plant don't need any atp energy for the upward movement of xylem sap so totally it is an passive process but when we take phloem translocation uh, sometime loading can be an active process root pressure and capillary forces of water within the xylem sap is important for the upward movement of water within the xylem for some extent what are the similarities between ascent of xylem sap and translocation of phloem when we take these two methods that is happen by bulk flow method passively and also both are happens according to pressure gradient what are the differences between ascent of xylem sap and translocation of food ascent of xylem sap happens within the xylem vessel and it is done by negative pressure and phloem translocation happens through sieve tubes and it is done by positive pressure when we take uh, xylem sap it contain more mainly water and minerals when we take phloem sap it contain water sucrose amino acid minerals like that then when we take water movements that is happens only to upward direction but when we take phloem translocation it can be happen to both direction upward direction and downward direction and when we take xylem sap movement that is totally an passive process but when we take phloem translocation even bulk flow happen passively sometime loading can be happens uh, actively finally try to answer this essay question first one describe the structure of the stomata in angiosperm b part describe the potassium influx hypothesis third part describe the pressure flow hypothesis in this diagram you can observe uh, that uh, cohesion tension theory so here you show that transpiration so loss of water from the leaves then from xylem that water will be replaced so from xylem water is pulled into the leaf cells so this is the explanation for the ascent of xylem sap it is explained by cohesion tension hypothesis here we discuss about three principles so these three principles are important for the ascent of xylem sap thank you